Hi, in this video, we'll cover how to add trip reports and multiple photos to the AW River database and how to add photos to Rapids. These are both great things to do to make our website look better and to convey better information to other folks. On any river page, scroll down the trip reports. You'll see that for Prospect Creek, there are none, so we'll click Add New Trip Report. We'll add a title clear and concise. We can change the date. In this case, our trip report is from quite a while ago. Gauge, usually there's only one. You can select the gauge that you're going to give a flow for. And then I looked back at the USGS gauge for this day to know that it was running 350 CFS. It is incredibly helpful if you add the flow for any day that you upload as a trip report. So very helpful information. The description, we ask that you provide a little information about flow and your day and um, you know anything that's historically significant or any good updates on hazards or wood, anything like that that you think uh, another paddler would like to read and learn from about the river. So I might say that it was an April day at Great Flows. And then you add the photos. I'll pick two. I'll use the command key to select two photos at once and I'll drag and drop them. We would love it if you would pick only a handful of photos, um, but really it's all about quality. So we want good high resolution photos that capture a place, uh, that tell a story about your day. And you know we really like these. We can use them for all kinds of reasons for AW um, to help promote these rivers. Um, once you upload them, you can select a rapid. Um, you can add a title that's just clear and concise. You can add the subject, which is who the photo is of. Give a little description. And then when you do all of that for all of them, you click Submit. And there's your trip report from April 15th, 2007. You can click on it to see it. Click through the photos if you want. Um, if you want to edit it, you can go back in and change anything you want, including the specific information about each photo. Now, a slightly different thing. If you want to add photos to Rapids once you've uploaded them, go to the General tab, click on the pencil to open up the edit functionality of the page, and scroll down. Here you'll see the rapid section. And you'll see that for Confluence Drop, there's no image. Click Select Image, and you can look through the photos for the reach and add one. Undo the editing, scroll down, and you can see the Confluence Drop photo that we just uploaded. This is a great way to make the AW website really shine and help tell the better story about the rivers that we all paddle. Thanks.